Well, we are live. So what do you do when you stuff yourself full of Easter turkey and chocolate? You talk about more food on a cruise ship. <laughs> <laughs> Well, good evening. Hi, everybody. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Yes. Yeah. And happy Sunday of the Masters for those watching golf today. Uh, yeah. If you notice me being distracted, right next to me here in the Cruising Connect studio, there's a 110 inch screen that has the golf on. So I might be glancing at the last two holes. So, mm. Mm -hmm. so it won't just not be me not looking at the, at the screen tonight. <laughs> you always say I look at the wrong area because I'm busy reading comments and not looking at the camera. But yeah, tonight, Mr. Kunuk might be a little distracted. It's hard. Augusta, you, yeah. tough choice. It's been a busy weekend <laughs> doing the Easter celebrations and watching Augusta, uh, watching golf all weekend. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not sure how many people will get today. A lot of people might be doing family Easter stuff or traveling. So we thought we'd keep it informal and we'll talk a little bit about specialty dining mm. on cruise ships and uh, kind of our take on doing it over 16 years, 36 cruises, what it kind of means to us and doesn't mean to us. Mm -hmm. So we'll talk about that. I know there's already on our Facebook group. We haven't joined. We've got a private Facebook group. Go check it out. And uh, uh, people have been discussing it already. So yes. we'll see if we don't there's get a lot of a debate. Yeah, if we don't get a lot of comments or questions. We might even jump to the Facebook group and kind of bring some of those things up. Mm -hmm. And my brain just went lead blank. Must be because the master's on. You're being distracted already. Yeah. So yeah, we'll we'll do that and we'll do that first off, and then we'll check in with everybody and see. We, we'll go through and get some comments and questions. Will everybody have their say on specialty dining? Because I can already tell from the comments, there's a lot of different viewpoints on this. So yeah, and uh, and as we go along, maybe more people will join. We'll have more conversation throughout the thing, or maybe everybody will be here because everybody's you know watching YouTube for something to do after having some turkey. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you feel like I do after you just had a big turkey dinner. You're ready for a nap. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we've had a great weekend, and so let's just start by saying hello to a few people, or do you have something else? You want well, to I thought we'd with? go through a few things. Maybe okay. go right into it. So for people that want to just join in here, but especially dining, we'll cover that. We'll jump in some questions and then maybe we'll kind of say hi to everybody and do kind of more informal Easter celebration with everybody. Okay. Does that work? Mm -hmm. But uh, first, I just want to remind everybody we've got, oh, I think we're at like a hundred and some odd people now join the email list to get our newsletter. Mm -hmm. And we're also going to be using that for kind of giving heads up on different things going on in the channel. We've got a couple new things that aren't quite ready to release. Mm -hmm. We're getting closer. We've had people asking for certain things that might be available and right. won't give it all away, but mm -hmm. we're, we're working on some stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then uh, after that, I'm just sorry, I'm getting distracted by golf and comments at the same time. <laughs> I just saw there's, there's someone joining here is 30 and a wake up is uh, saying they're here from the Caribbean princess. So, yeah, when there's people at sea saying hi, I, 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 I jump in and say hi. So, yeah, yeah, we see uh, someone else is watching. I get distracted. Someone else is talking about the masters up there and it's uh. over here. Uh, but first, before we get into the specialty, we'll just quickly touch on the videos we had this week come out. OK. And we just got off the New Amsterdam a couple of weeks ago. The vlogs are just starting to go live. And so this week on uh, Tuesday night, uh, we released the Embarkation Day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had a great day. Where we did the specialty dining at the Tamarind. So that's kind of relevant. Might kind of play into our overall perception because we did specialty. My question to you guys, if you watched that first video, did you think we had totally lost our mind when we had no idea where our cabin was? <laughs> Yeah. It was like that was that was not a, that thing. was not an act, and it wasn't thirty six <laughs> cruises and and we get on board a ship without having the proper documentation because we hadn't uh, upgraded our our latest documentation because they changed our cabin around forty eight hours prior to the cruise and we were already in transit to get to the cruise at that point. But anyways, I just I still am sort of shaking my head, thinking here we were, we knew what deck we were on, and that's all we knew. And uh, yeah, that was yeah, quite the and, way to start the cruise. And even though we had the wrong, we usually have electronic versions and paper versions to make sure we have something when we get on. We had the paper version, but we didn't realize the paper version was old. Mm -hmm. But what we didn't expect to get on the ship, and this ended up being a constant thing, as you saw in the second video, mm -hmm. was we couldn't get connected to the internet. Yeah, and if we did, it wasn't very good internet. So I couldn't even check our emails to get the most up-to-date boarding That pass. was our biggest issue, was we had no tech to help yeah. support us. And yep. our papers were outdated. Yeah, but it was kind of comical. Yeah, and Paul, Paul and Carol, <laughs> this is the first picture, first time we're actually sitting yeah. down and meeting them, having a drink, and we don't know where our cabin is. I'm sure they were looking at us like, "What did we sign yeah. up what for? What kind of idiots did we meet with <laughs> this yeah. trip?" Yeah. And, and the wait staff wanted to have your room number because we didn't have our key cards yet. 
to order drinks. So here we are, Carol's having to buy me a Crown Royal and Diet because like, we didn't know our room number to charge our rooms. Yeah. yeah. So Anyways. that was kind of funny. So yeah, as you saw, we wandered the halls. We literally did. Checking every door to see the envelopes until we found our envelope. So yeah. it only took a few seconds in the edited video, but in real life, it took a little longer. It wasn't too bad, though. I probably touched 11 envelopes, I think. I think it was somewhere between 10 and 12. So I'm going to land on 11 with my estimate of how many envelopes it took me to get to our door. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, and then the second video that came out was us at Half Moon Key. Very short day. We got there first thing in the morning and we had to leave just afternoon. Yes. So we did a little bit of snorkeling. We being Mrs. Knapp. And uh, we had a big freighter there. If you watch it, you'll see a couple different things. Pirate ship we couldn't get up top and film. Yeah, they've closed that off. We used to be able to walk up there and have a drink up there if you wanted and take some nice photos. But they won't allow you to go up there anymore. They said it's permanently closed. Yep. So yeah, we filmed a little bit of that stuff and then we did have a good time there and we were back on the ship and enjoyed uh, yeah, the end of our day and another specialty dining that night. So it just seemed like the last couple of vlogs specialty dining and recently we've done more on the ships. Right. And we thought that's kind of a nice thing to touch on because we do get first time cruisers asking us all the time about specialty dining and how do you know if it's specialty versus regular? What, mm -hmm. How do you know if one's charging one? Because new yeah. cruisers, they have no idea. They, just, they see restaurants and don't know. Well, and, and that's why it's the topic tonight because I literally was having a conversation with, with a, a person this week who hasn't been on a cruise ship and that was her question to me. How do I know what specialty and what is included and how do I navigate that and what should I do? Should I be doing the specialties? Shouldn't I? What do you do? And so I thought, well, you know what? We're we're by far not experts on anything, but we have opinions and I'm sure you guys have opinions. So we thought we'd throw it out there and see what everybody felt and how they thought about it. Yeah. So we'll, I guess we'll dive into specialty dining. If you have a specific comment about specialty dining or have a question about it, maybe in the comment section, instead of putting the word question in capitals, put the word food. <laughs> and if we see it come up, we'll include it in the discussion. And then once we're done with specialty dining, we'll jump back in and I see a bunch of other interesting comments and questions that we're going to jump to as well. So we'll get to them eventually. Okay. So that's the plan. So we'll throw up the next little tag, which says specialty dining cruise ships. Is it worth it? So, is it worth it? So before we even get into any details, let's just go bare bones on this one and get two people's opinion. Oh, so I'm going to ask you if you think it's worth it on cruise ships to spend oh. money and I'm going to answer the question and we'll see if we're the same or not. Mm. And, and no, but, and maybe it's just like straight out. Someone mm. said, is it worth it? Yes or no? <laughs> oh, wow. And do you have a definitive answer? Yes. Okay. Well, Oh, you go first then, because oh. I'm really struggling with this. Well, I don't, be, this is why I wanted this to be the topic tonight, because there's a part of me that's like, no, I don't need to do it. And then there's a part of me, well, maybe. So yeah, I'm sort of on the fence back and forth with it a little bit. That's not a yes or no. I know it isn't, unless you want me to have a yes or no. <laughs> I say, I will say that we've gone to some specialty restaurants that I thought it was so good and it was worth it. And then, but more so we've been to ones where I'm like, oh, was it worth it? I don't know. So yeah, I'm really divided on it. Like I, if, uh, if we want to go, sorry, <laughs> you, you talk. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm just going to watch the golf. <laughs> you talk. I'm just going to give you one word Oh. and then we'll debate it from there. Okay. Go. No. No. Yeah. I figured you thought no. Want to hold a goal in the masters for those watching John Rahm's deleting. Okay. <sighs> So here's here's where I where I struggle with it. Probably prior to this summer, if someone had asked me whether it was worth it, I would have said no. And then we went to the specialty restaurant on uh, Norwegian Epic at the the French restaurant. Now with Norwegian, with the package we had, you got two specialty included for free, I believe. Or was it three? No, it was two. Two specialty dinings. Anyways, and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. French restaurant and I would have paid to do have that meal again. But now we're cheating. So, the, so I guess maybe I should have framed the question. And a lot of people, you, I, I know you all feel the same. If you had to pay for the specialty dining and it wasn't included as a perk, is it worth it? So that's a different question than just is it worth it? If so, it, yeah, no, I agree with you. What I was going to say is I'm probably too afraid to try it if I had to pay for it. Um, but I like when they do include it into the package because then if it's really good, then maybe I would be willing to try it. So again, if I was to go back on the Norwegian Epic and had no specialty dining, I'd be willing to pay to go to that French restaurant. Would I be willing to pay to go to the Brazilian restaurant? Absolutely not. So that's why I f I'm sort of on the fence. Can I explain my no now? Oh, sorry, go. <laughs> <laughs> I took my ear off. I forgot to, oh. before I get to my answer, 
Look at all the Easter chocolate I got. Oh, man. Which one should I eat during this episode? You're not eating during a live. Put their <laughs> me, basket down. I'm going to eat this guy. Oh. <laughs> okay, oh, so my answer as to why I say absolutely no is based on if I had to pay cash for it myself. Okay. And the reason being, and maybe I'm different, I'll definitely you probably think I'm different, is... I don't like a lot of expensive cuts of meat and food. Right, so, that's true. So for me, I like variety. You know, I like a vegetarian dish, a pasta dish. I might like uh, meatloaf. All those things, they're harder to find in specialty dining than they are in the regular dining room. So my preference is always the dining room because I feel like I have more selection of a wider variety. And on most cruise ships, I find these main dining food is really good. I, I don't feel the need to upcharge myself. But again, I'm not ordering the fancy cuts of fancy steaks or the fancy seafood. So right. that makes, so I'm not ordering the shrimp as an appetizer. So, so I don't feel I get my money's worth. So that's why I'm a no. It's not that the food isn't good. And that's why I'm curious to see what you think and even what you think, because you all may eat that type of food and might yeah. have a different answer than me. We generally eat totally different things. Uh, so I'm more going for like the, the specialty cuts of, of red meat and the and prime rib and those sort of thing and lobster and shrimp and all of that, whereas you aren't. So yeah, that's probably why I enjoy the specialty restaurants a little bit more than you. Is that what you think? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. And so there's another part to this whole thing. This egg is really, chicken is really in there tight. I'll get them out eventually. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the other thing I was going to say is that in your fair, like you already have paid for your meals. So I feel that if you're going to be charged extra, how much extra is appropriate when you're already giving up a free meal somewhere else on the ship? So if someone says, well, at home, you'd pay $50 for a meal anyways to go out to a fine dining restaurant and have a nice meal. Right. I get it. But I didn't, I'm not leaving food behind that I already paid for in my fare at that restaurant, right? Like it's, it's different to me. So you have to add that in. And I was, I've been trying to do the math on it and I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm thinking myself 30, at least 30 to $40, maybe $50 Every day is probably for your main dining room dinner if, if you budget it all out and break it out. That, mm -hmm. That's a guess. Mm -hmm. So if you're adding another thirty dollars per person for an upcharge to what you've already paid for, some restaurants it's forty or fifty. Then you're up you're up there pretty expensive, and that hasn't covered any of your alcohol yet. So if you think about playing this compared to if you're at home paying for a restaurant, what would it cost for a nice night out at a restaurant? No drinks. Yeah. Does it match to what the cruise is paying? And maybe it's very much the same. Right. I, I keep thinking I've already paid for my food, so now I'm paying for extra food. It's not just like open your wall up, you're on vacation, go have a nice meal. I've already paid for a meal, so that's kind of different to me. Right. So. All right. But you there is to... there are some comments. Do you want? Yeah, to... let's go to some comments. We'll, we'll go on to some comments, comments here. Going. I see some food comments, so it just means I have less time to break into my chocolate chicken here. <laughs> or is it a bunny? It's a chicken. <laughs> um, the first one that says food, we'll go to. How does that sound? I'll try to find it on this screen so you can say what it is. Oh. Happy Easter is the first one that says food. Looks like it is. We're almost there. 30 and a wake up. You see that one? Food. What is your most favorite specialty dining you've done? So for me, it's definitely the French restaurant on the Norwegian Epic. That was probably my favorite. What was your favorite? That's a tough one. Oh, I don't know. Because I'm always thinking, is this worth it? <laughs> Instead of just enjoying it. Um, I, I really I really enjoyed the fresh French restaurant on Norwegian Epic. I also enjoyed the Tamarind on Holland America. Yeah, I thought that was what you would say. So I'm kind of, yeah, I'm in between all those ones. And I was thinking of something else that we should mention. Oh, so for the people who haven't been on a cruise, there might be some of you watching that haven't been on a cruise or are going on your first cruise. The question I, we, have, we didn't really answer is, how do you know? Yeah. If a restaurant is specialty versus regular, and really this day and age, it's a thing that's in your app. It's mm -hmm. a thing that if you walk around and look at the restaurants, even the day you get on the ship, you'll see like menus and sometimes it'll mention the charge or there'll be someone working outside that can tell you how much it is. And it's in the program too, the yep. daily program that they leave in your cabin or you can get. So it's usually listed, the, the dining ven uh, venues are on the back and there's a little dollar side or a fee side uh, printed beside the ones that you have to pay for. And then there's other ones that are included. Yeah, and, and generally there are is usually a main dining room, sometimes several that are all free every single night. There's also a buffet that's free every single night. Sometimes there's some upcharges in the buffet. Sometimes there's upcharges on the menu in the main dining room, mm -hmm. but you can get all the food you want for free. Sometimes there's other restaurants that are separate from those that are, some are free. You have to kind of usually kind of scout those out to find them. Right. And then others are specialty that they charge money for, but you really have to do a little bit of investigation and, and asking when you get on the ship, because it's not really 
obvious. There's no big sign hanging outside the door saying twenty five ninety nine to eat here. It doesn't work that way. It's kind of more subtle. But right. Yeah. So that's the first question and comment. Shelley's is next. Okay. Have you tried the Rudy Saldemar? Uh, is it worth the price? I want to see the plates. Well, we haven't tried it, so we can't be helpful that's, to you with that. That's the only one that we haven't tried, I think, on Hold America so far. Yeah, so we wanted to try it, but the ship we just got off of was New Amsterdam, and it didn't have it on there. So the Pinnacle Class ships do. So we'll be on that ship sooner, a Pinnacle Class one. Yeah. So hopefully we'll try it. This summer in Alaska, we'll, we'll have a Rudy's on there to be able to try it out. You think? Now, in saying that, we have been at... Uh, the main dining room sometimes does like uh, their, their, their inspirational chefs, I'm not sure the right word, but the people that have helped design their menus and they have a different sometimes plate from each chef. So I, we have had some Rudy's dishes on the main dining room. Mm -hmm. I forget what they were, but we have. So. Okay. I broke in. Oh my. Okay. So, so yeah, so that's, so sorry, no idea on Rudy's. I don't even know. I know the price was. It was fairly it was high. Expensive than it was the more than house. yeah, I more than that. Tamarind. It might have been more than Pinnacle. It was more than the Pinnacle Grill. Yeah. It is their most expensive. But I do know this that the people that we have talked to on our YouTube and Facebook groups and channels that they have all raved about it. That people yeah, love it. Yeah, we've been told by a lot of people that we have to try it. We just haven't had the opportunity to do it yet. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, sorry we can't give you a first hand, but we've heard good things and we've heard people say they love it and they do it on every cruise that that restaurant is there. So. Yeah. If, if that means anything, but yeah, maybe we'll get on it to the next cruise and be able to tell you firsthand. Again, it looks like a really fancy menu. So it's probably going to be me going, eh, and maybe you going. And that's part of the problem why we don't generally go to the all in, um, the specialty dining unless they've been included because he generally doesn't want that type of specialty food. Yeah. Yeah. So we will go to Camilla, I believe, is up next with a question, comment. Food. I've enjoyed some specialty dining, but feel that I don't need to pay extra. I do enjoy them when they're included in a package. Yeah, that's sort of where I'm at too, Camilla. I would agree with that. I, I like to do it for something different, and I like that it's included in a package. It's harder to make that decision to pay it when it's not in a package. And I don't feel you're having less of a cruise if you don't go. No. I think we cruised 16 or 17 times before we ever had a single specialty restaurant. And it was only because that it was included in a package. Yeah, I so, agree. So you don't have to. Now, in saying that, one of our recent trips um, over the holidays out of Los Angeles, we did do specialty restaurant because we did not enjoy the main dining room at all. We needed to get out of the seating was bad. It wasn't that the food was bad. The atmosphere was awful. We thought, let's try a different dining room. Today. And that was on the carnival ship. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so we thought, okay, we're willing to pay to hopefully have a quiet dinner and enjoy the food. And uh, I would say it was a miss. It was it was quieter until halfway through. And then they had somebody almost shoulder to shoulder sit next to me. Um, and then the appetizers were really good, but the main course did not agree with me at all. So Yeah, so, so yeah. That made me think of something else and I can't think of what it is. So, mm. um, yeah, so you don't have to. Like I said, we cruise more than half the cruises we've ever been on. We didn't feel like we were having a downgraded experience. We didn't feel like there was a different class of people having way better food somewhere else. We still enjoyed the main dining room. I had wonderful cruises. So okay. don't feel that you have to, that it's not like, well, we have to go to a special dining. Everybody does as or says we should. You really yeah, don't have no. to. You can yeah. have a wonderful cruise. Some people just go to the buffet even. So Absolutely, right? yeah. So I, I definitely don't think it's a must do. No. And looking here for another comment on food. I see Stacy is there. Food. Going on the epic. You don't have to see food every yeah, time. Sorry. <laughs> going on the epic. I'm just trying to pick out which one. <laughs> this summer and have three specialty nights. Where do you suggest we use them? French restaurant and where else? Hmm. Well. The epic. Yeah. So I'm trying we to think. What going. three did we do? Oh, we went to the, I think we only did two. We went to the Brazilian mm -hmm. and the French. And the French. But we've Well, oh, that's right, because Norwegian only does two. two Norwegian, Norwegian used to do three on their it changes free when for you all, cook it. They, but now it's two. It's not always. Sometimes it goes to three. So we've done it where we've had three included, and we did the French, the steak. Um, yeah, the steak restaurant I really enjoyed, but and I also really enjoyed their Italian restaurant. I would recommend mm -hmm. that one over the Brazilian. So we've done four opinion. of them. I love the Brazilian on the smaller ships, but on the Epic, it was not run the same. So it wasn't an enjoyable experience, but usually I love the Brazilian. So, mm -hmm. um, and then the steak place, I'm usually a no. 
because they have nothing but steak. I know that's not a shocker to anybody, but I didn't find an alternative on there. There was sea bass, I think, and that wasn't even my, even close to a second choice for me. So, so that yeah, I, I was kind of, but it is a steakhouse, so I can't fault them for that. It, I, I, it's what we chose. And the French was good. We tried that for the first time, and then we've had the Italian. So, but in saying that, the Epic. The main dining room was phenomenal. Go to, go to, I forget what the name of it is now, the after the ship. Yeah, oh. the big main There's a beautiful room. main dining room with live music, even a dance floor. The tables are Lots spread. Lots of windows. Wide open areas for table seating. And we found the food to be just as good, if not better, some nights in the main dining room than especially. Mm. So don't feel like you need to add more than two. I definitely tried to. Oh, we've also done the tapenaki. Did you say that? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. If you haven't done that, yeah. definitely do that. I've always enjoyed that, but it, it's very repetitive in the same thing. So we've sort of stopped doing it after we've done it a few times. But yeah, the Tapernaki for sure. Yeah, so I would recommend that that's one. That's the yeah. fifth one we've done. Yeah, so mm -hmm. so lots of options on the Epic. But I think if I had to choose two, I would probably say the French. I don't know. If I've never done the Tapernaki, it might be my second. If I've done it, then it might be the, I don't know. The Italian? Yeah, I would go with the Italian myself, too. Hard to say. Italian, Tapernaki, and French would be my three yeah. that and I would and, pick. And the Epic, there also is a free Asian restaurant. It kind of is a little bit confusing because there's also a um, sushi. sushi place that has uh, additional charge for the a la carte. But there is an Asian restaurant at Squeeze right between the sushi and the Tapanaki, and it is free. and has really good food as well, so don't miss that one. That's kind of like a doing a specialty, but for free. Right, yep. it is. That, okay, next question? Almost next question. First, let's do a cheers. To John Ron from Spain. We oh. love Spain and La Corona, Spain, one of our favorite ports. Oh, he just won, did he? He just won the Masters, oh, yes. Oh, there you so, go. Cheers. Cheers. John Rom. Yeah. Mm, we didn't actually cheers. So. We said cheers properly. <laughs> Here we go. John will be disappointed. Yeah. Mm. Yes, so, yes, this is the cruising slash golf channel. <laughs> just for four days a year. <laughs> mm. Okay, can we find more food comments? Do you yeah. see any more up there? Oh, I do see one from a Teresa. Oh, it's funny because it disappeared there. Yeah. Oh, 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 let me try to find it again because it does show up further down. Rudy's is definitely working. Hmm, weird. We'll go to Bruce and Tony's. I know Teresa has one in the other area, but we'll go to. <laughs> I love Bruce and Tony's. Oh, I'm just... oh there it is. It? Yeah. it says Princess Nuggets versus Specialty Dining probably <laughs> can compare. You're right. Mr. Canuck would hang out in the buffet and just eat uh, chicken nuggets the whole week. So he would be happy there. And yep. I can go to the specialty dining without them. <laughs> Yep. Bacon wrap, meatloaf, and nuggets. That's all I need. Oh, that's funny. All right. <laughs> Imagine especially your dining that did that. Uh, I would pay for that for sure. Uh, oh, and I can't see it coming up there. So maybe I'll just throw it on the screen here. Teresa has one, and I'll just read it from the screen down here instead of putting it up there okay. for you. But Teresa's saying we booked the SD. What ship do you think the SD Specialty is? dining. Okay. <laughs> that's the topic. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> our 30th anniversary dinner, which most likely is formal night on the Caribbean Princess. We booked Crown Grill. Is the food on the MDR? Oh, is yeah. it? Is it? Is the food in the MDR on formal nights? So the, I, I'll tell you when we did the Crown Grill I, I on the Sky Princess, it was on the formal night, and we went to the Crown Grill. I absolutely enjoyed it. It was very good. But then we had friends and family that were with us that were in the main dining room, and they said that they were served, they were served um, lobster and steak in the main dining room, and it was well worth it. Oh my goodness, it's like having a child with me tonight, guys. I'm why, sorry. Why are you pinching me? <laughs> I'm trying to get your attention. Oh, oh. We're jumping all over here. Oh, I see a twenty dollar old man Jedi. Thank oh, you very nice. much for the super chat. Can you put it up on the screen? Oh, can I? Yeah, I, I'd have I to, think you can. I have to go find it. He's talking about the Haven. Oh, my mouse battery must be almost dying. There we go. And we love the Haven on the Norwegian. Love the ship with a special concept. The food was excellent. Yeah. And then when mm. you do the Haven, you get the different dining room option as well. So that's another different that's a whole other piece of level dining and specialty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah for, for sure. sure. Yeah. yeah. We hope to one day do the Haven. We haven't quite got there. Yeah. <laughs> but we're hoping one day that, that will be an option. Yeah. So why don't we uh, just take a pause on that and sort of... Oh, I got lots more food questions. Oh, okay. I see Peggy up there, if I can find it here. Where is it? You can start reading it up there if you want. I'll I see think if I can... you just scroll past it. Okay. Oh, that's a different one. I enjoy specialty dining, but... Okay, right here. <laughs> I don't know. 
I think the golf on your mind has really set you there. I enjoy specialty dining, but would never pay extra it for it. I go if it's included in my cruise package or my travel agent has given it to us as a specialty. Like that's sort of like what we, a lot of us have been saying too, right? Like it's, it's nice when it's included or it's a gift item. You know, I know some people that only ever do it if they're cruising on for a special occasion, like a birthday or anniversary, that's a little bit of an extra treat for them. So those I think make it worthwhile, make it special, right? Mm -hmm, for sure. Looking for more here. Food, 30 and wake up as a comment a little farther down. See if I can find it up there for you to read. I think we already have that one. Oh, Brenda Cecito has one. Okay, Brenda. Go on that one. You can read that one. I'll try to find it over here. Brenda says, it depends on the budget and your taste, but Rudy Saldemar and Pinnacle are her favorites. Uh-huh. And let's see. And then I see another one. There, uh, someone else, Kylie, is booking their Rudy's. Oh, you just scrolled away from it. Oh, sorry. sorry. It jumped on me. Mm. Princess Nuggets, is that where we were? <laughs> Depends on your budget. Which one would you? I haven't seen Southwest Florida Bulldog. Okay, you can read that. Go ahead. Okay, I'm going to try to find it here. So if you can read it. <laughs> I am usually wondering what I am missing uh -huh. in the main dining room when there I'm at is. the specialty restaurant. Me too. <laughs> Yeah. Not that the specialty isn't good, but there's just certain menus in the main dining room that I love. It's true. So the one time that we sort of on the, on the spur just planned to go and pay for specialty, which is the one we were talking about with Carnival, where we went to the Asian restaurant, we had checked the main dining room menu at like three in the afternoon and it was like neither one of us could find anything we wanted. So then we felt very justified that we weren't missing out on anything in the main dining room. And so that helped us make our decision to go to the specialty one. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's that's the advantage with the, the apps now on your phone or TV or whatever else that you can see that real quick and easy. It used to be that you had to wander down to the main dining room and look outside the doors to see what there yeah. was deep. And now they usually have it on, so your, on your app. So yeah. that's nice. Yeah, I got Scott's video next one. For you? You can read it. Oh, I can read it? Yeah, Tornadoes, can rosini, it. filet, mignon, foie gras, foie gras black a truffle, truffle. majera sauce. was the best place I've ever had at sea. It was plate. a plate. It was at Rudy's, and he highly recommends it. Okay. So there you go. So, yeah, like I said, we've heard wonderful things about Rudy's. We've never tried it. Hmm. I said, I think you would like it. Wow. Maybe that night we'll do like a you go by yourself filming and I'll go to the buffet. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh. Yeah, you'll go look for chicken nuggets. <laughs> chicken nuggets. <Ooh. laughs> I would take chicken nuggets over lobster all day long. Oh, Jim's got a question. Okay. On NCL, my favorites are Le Bistro, French, Cagney, steak. Yep. Interested to try Palmaro, Mediterranean oh, yeah. on the Primo. That's true. That's new. I've agreed. We've tried the... Brazilian on the jewel and it was just okay. Yeah, so we've had it on the Dawn, the Brazilian, and loved it there, but yep. we haven't loved it on the other ships. So mm -hmm. I don't know why. I think mainly for us, it wasn't a food thing. It was a service and organization issue was the problem. Yeah, and I find on the Dawn, it's there's a whole another element there. The the Brazilian's up at the top of the ship. It's a beautiful look at the sunset. The location. It's, of there's it. a beautiful little bar there that you can cozy up to and have a drink before or after. Mm -hmm. So there, it was kind of more of an atmosphere thing with the Brazilian there. The food was mm -hmm. good too, but it was it was the whole package where we didn't feel that way right. on, the, on the epic for us. So right. I think I see that's the end of the. Oh, I see one more from Shelly Davis there. As I was to say, we're almost going to go back. Do to the, the apps show the dinner menu early in the day or is just post past lunch? In I, it does show it in the morning. I've looked at it before I've had lunch. I know that when I've been like reading a book in the morning and trying to decide if we were just going to eat something light for lunch, depending on what the main menu looked like. So, yeah, yeah. I think it's ra rather early. I think they do show it first thing in the morning for that day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of cheat sometimes with some of the apps, like some of them before the cruise, even you can start to see what's going on. Mm -hmm. I've seen that even in Holland America that you, you check the main dining room dinner menu every night and it changes. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how it changes or how it matches up when you get on for your cruise, but you can at least get an idea of what's going to be coming up every night. You might not know the exact night, but it gives you a, a feel of it. Mm -hmm. 
Martha has a question. Sure. Anything special on the Caribbean princess you suggest for us as we are celebrating our 30th wedding anniversary? Well, first of all, congratulations. And hubby's birthday on the same day. Wow. We're setting sail in June. So when we are the Caribbean um, princess, we did the Italian, which is Sabertini's. I had a wonderful meal and Mr. Canuck said it was okay. Yeah, was so good. again, yeah. it goes back to, you know, we really enjoyed the, the food in the main dining room on the Caribbean princess. Right. So, yeah, we did. Yeah, I really did enjoy the, the, the main dining room food was probably some of the best I've ever had on the Caribbean princess. Yeah, it was. Yeah. We had very good food yeah. there. And we did do we just did the one specialty on Caribbean princess. It was, just the, it was just the it was just the Sabertini's. And, but I mean, I had red meat. I had some sort of a steak dish at the at, at it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I just seen another comment here. Oh, Shelly Davis, did we read that one already? No, we don't. No. Does the food, does the app show what's served with high tea? What flavor of tea usually serves? Not on any cruise line that we've been on. So we've, I've done high tea on Holland America. I've done it on Princess. I've done it on Carnival. I don't know if I've ever gone and done it when we've been or on the region. Not I'm sure. trying to think. But I know definitely those three know. They just uh, tell you the time and it does. And, uh, and in my experience, there's often been a little variety of the different types of more like the savory things, the sandwiches and that sort of thing. Generally, the desserts are all very similar, but I've had a few different times where we've gone and had different savory type uh, sandwiches. Mm -hmm. they're, they're all very similar, I would say, all the tea times as far as the food options, but I've never seen them listed and you don't know until you get there. Right. And, yeah. and, and I don't know if they're different every tea time. Sometimes there's several tea times. Some cruises have them every day. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm generally most of the big cruise lines just do it on sea days, but I know some of the more British cruise lines do do the do it every day. Okay, so that was Shelly. I see that there's been some more come in since. I just okay. gotta go find them. Dawn has a comment question about food. Okay. Uh, okay. She's right there. Oh, there we are. On the NCL gem, Cagney's and the Brazilian is a shared split space room was split in half didn't have the same feel when both restaurants were together yeah that was sort of how it was on the, on, dawn. On the kind of in the dawn you kind well, of joined no, at the back i, I was thinking the epic too because yeah, it was epic sort of was that too. wrapped around and i felt like that yeah. when we were on the epic yeah. where it's like it was more separated i guess it was yeah in, the, on the dawn you had to go past the, the entrance way to yeah. Get in. yeah so i agree with you with that it felt different yeah hmm. sherry's got a comment about a question with club orange uh, okay. Has anyone done Club Orange on how we're doing it on our transatlantic and curious about the feedback? Yeah, I'm curious about that too. So when we were on um, New Amsterdam, they don't have a separate restaurant for the Orange Club. They have a section of the main dining room. And yeah. so a few times we were seated in that area and were was given a Club Orange menu. And it was pretty much the same as the main dining room except for i think they may have added one extra item we noticed in like well, one extra main one extra appetizer to choose from that sort of thing that's typically even with club orange has a separate restaurant that it isn't a totally separate menu it's the same as the main dining room with a couple extra options for just club orange so that's right. the way it works so it's so we've heard good things we've heard people that have that option to go club orange you know we kind of asked around to see do you go there every night do you just go there they seem to go there every night because of the, I mean, it's a smaller dining room, so it's a little more intimate. And that's so, on the pinnacle class yeah. ships we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. so some people do it just because of the atmosphere, and it's kind of away from the busyness of the main dining room. Mm -hmm. But the food is very similar, except just a couple of dishes as the main dining room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we haven't ever done the upgrade to Club Orange. We've been tempted several times. We've had offers days before the cruise. We've just never jumped in. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is something we've talked about that we should try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kylie has a question comment. Is Hal still doing Royal Dutch high tea? I'm not sure if Royal Dutch is something specific. I know they do have, We when we were okay. on it, we had tea time. And it they came with like the platters, the oh, three-tiered I think, I think it's plates. Always, is that what it's called? Yeah, now? it's Royal, Royal Dutch. Dutch. Yeah, I think that's that's okay. right. I think there's, that's still what you think it is. It's got the multiple tiers of different types of sandwiches and sweets and yeah. white glove service and everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think sure. so. I just seen a little bit of a comment there from LouTube about Sherry's old Club Orange question, and uh, saying yeah. that they did, uh, they loved it. Food service were excellent, and to the point, they're separate from the main dining room on that ship. 
So, mm. so it's a little more of a quieter venue yet. Yeah, I think it would be worth it depending on the ship you're mm. on, right? Like, yeah, 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 okay. and, and yeah. So, kind of just reading as we're getting towards the bottom of the question comments here is that Club Orange gives you a room upgrade. Well, yes, yeah, so Club Orange is not just a dining thing. There's a few other perks. I think it may also give you possibly priority. I think at some yeah, times, so get, yeah. either getting on the ship on or tenders priority, or something. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So it has a few of the perks that come with the Club Orange. If you get a Neptune suite and beyond, it is included with the suites. Mm -hmm. So, but not all suites. We thought it was, but we had that clarified last cruise when we were doing a cruise of some cabins and mm -hmm. a cruise, a tour, tour. of some cabins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And so maybe we'll do, We I've seen, I don't see any more at least food questions, but I know there's some food comments. So maybe okay. I'll just kind of start towards the bottom, work our way back up. Okay. <laughs> we'll get back to the hellos at the or top. start at the front and you skipped over a whole bunch I of I did, yeah. Hellos. Just go right back up. To right the to the top? Sure. Mark is going to want his comment in now. Uh -huh. <laughs> so there's a couple of food comments at the bottom is what I'm worried about. Hmm? Yeah, go ahead. Think, okay. I'm allowed to. Whatever you're doing. <laughs> Oh, I was throwing in the CP Del Mar. Oh, have you ever been to the Tamarind? Yeah, we just did the Tamarind. Has that video come out? Yeah, just this week, yeah, right? Yeah, that was our first one. And so what were your thoughts? So it was our favorite that we had yeah. on the cruise. We really enjoyed it. Yeah, it says it's their favorite too. Yeah, we really did enjoy the Tamarind. And so I'm not sure what the cost of that one was. It was relatively, if I want to say it was remember, around $19, $20. I remember thinking it was one that I would be willing to pay to go back for, that it was really yeah. good. And what tucked it off was I tried the dessert that one of our followers had mentioned. I forget which one of you had told me to try it, but it was something that I thought I probably normally wouldn't have tried, and yet I loved it. It was delicious. Yeah. But I ordered it on the recommendation of someone had messaged us on our Facebook group and told me I had to try it. So it I was did. the something cheesecake. You could you could use 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 it, use it or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And. I'll do one more question at the bottom before we go okay. to the top. How's that, Sam? Okay. One that you like talking about, which is clothes. How did you feel about gala nights on how in terms of the dress? What do I need to know? Um, I would say that the majority of people do dress up on Holland America ships more than some of the other major cruise lines in going out of North America. Like I would say that people are more dressed up on a HAL ship than then they are on um definitely than they are on a carnival or a Royal Caribbean. It's probably similar if you've ever been on a princess ship to that level of dress up. The majority of, of uh, people, women are wearing dress, dresses or dress pants and blouses. Men often are at least in a collared shirt, quite a few suits, a few tuxedos, not, not a lot of tuxedos, I would say. So yeah, it's people usually put an effort to putting on something nicer. I find for some reason, I don't know if it's a recent change or I just noticed it lately, that there that more people seem to get dressed up for the first formal night than they do the second Yes, night. I they, will say they, that. They show up, they're all dressed up, and they're like, okay, we've done that, we've been there, we'll do something different the next True. time. True. <laughs> yeah, I would agree with that. Most most seven-day cruises has two gala nights, and you'll find the first gala night, there's a lot more dressed up than, say, the second gala night for some yeah. reason. Yeah, a lot of people that don't want to dress up for gala night, they usually turn that into a buffet night, but you don't need to because you don't no. have to dress up. You can wear a cruise casual, yeah. and it's still fine in the dining room, and you're not going to stand out like a sore thumb. Right. Yep. 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 And Dave, it's a question. Sorry, another food question down there. What ship has the best room service? What do you think? Ooh, I'm, I'm thinking about... Um, for me, I would say the best room service we've ever had on a cruise line was when we were on the new Stodden Dong and had room service there. I really enjoyed that. We uh, So the, we took new Stodden Dong um, Christmas, New Year's, a year and a half ago. So And we were still on quite, um, quite a lot of traveling restrictions. We were only at 50% capacity on the ship. We had to get a no, uh, negative COVID test to get back into Canada during that time. So there were a few times that instead of going into a, a crazy venue that was packed full of people, we would go back to our room and watch a movie. And so we had some pretty good room service on that cruise because we would often go back and order some nice late night snacks. Here's the only argument I have to that is, yes, I agree. It was really good. Yeah. But what I like about Princess is you can get room service mm -hmm. to your room or mm -hmm. anywhere else in the ship. All That's the, true. You can, so you can order anything. There's lots of variety and you can get it to have it in your room, like traditional room service. Yeah, you're right. Or you can go to your friend's cabin 
on another floor and order room service in their room under your account, or you can go up to the pool deck and order room service. So yeah. that's where I, I like Princess, even though no, I would... No, I think you have a really valid point. I think now you're you're making me want to change my mind. You're right. I loved the fact that at like 1130 at night, when I felt like I wanted some salty chips, Mr. Canuck pressed a button on his phone. And next thing I know, there was a waiter coming with a bag of chips for me. So yeah, that's a nice feature that Princess does. So it's room service anywhere, which is like, I think a level above every other cruise line that we've been on so far. Okay. So so even though the whole America food, I think is really good, maybe touch better than Princess, but not much of it is. Yeah, it's pretty similar. But the, the whole America, you have to have it in your cabin. Princess, you can have it anywhere on the ship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. And so I'll give in to your comment. Keep, oh, I was going to say you might as well keep going. There were so many comments coming in <laughs> Well, there. we answered a bunch. So we'll jump to the top. We'll go catch yeah. a few that maybe we didn't miss any specifically. I see a lot of people saying Happy Easter. So Happy yeah. Easter, everybody. We won't go through each one of them. Yeah. But everybody here from around the world, literally, from Ontario yeah. to Australia. Melbourne. Wow, yeah. that's nice. Yeah, for sure. And there's even someone on uh, Caribbean Princess, as we mentioned earlier, if you didn't Seven catch that. Seven days till the lure of the seas. People are getting ready to cruise. Yep. Love it. Yep. And... Uh, Here's mm -hmm. one. So like Peggy made a comment earlier on, right? I uh, enjoyed specialty dining. See if I can find yeah, it. Yeah, we are. I read that one before. You read that yeah, one? Yeah, I read that one. Yeah. Yeah. Peggy's okay. Yeah. Just a second. I have to go and find the next one here. Esther has one by the Regal Princess. I just got off the Regal Princess. Only went to one specialty dining. It was the Crown Girl. The food was good, but it was expensive. Paid $29 US plus $10 for surf and turf. Yeah, we noticed that uh, they're starting to do an extra charge for that now. Yeah, and you're, you're going to... On top of your already $29 fee. So it's getting pricey. I would agree with that. And I'm not sure how much we commented on it in the actual vlog. You're going to see that we do the Pinnacle Grill. Right, mm -hmm. right. On uh, Holland America is one of our specialties as well in this vlog series that's coming out now. And we noticed the same thing that there was up charges that kind of caught us by surprise. And I think we commented a little bit on it, but yeah, we were kind of shocked a little bit as well. Because mm -hmm. you know you're paying extra on top of what your food is for free in the main dining room, plus you're not paying extra on the extra on top restaurant. Of the extra. <laughs> At some point on top of the extra, yeah. It's too too much. Like yeah. I, I, yeah. Yeah, when, like we were saying, we were just talking to our son-in-law about this topic this afternoon when they were over having um, Easter dinner with us. And we asked them what it, what are their opinions about it because they did a specialty dining on their honeymoon wedding cruise. And they said, yeah, I don't think we would pay for it. And and uh, he said, I would pay for it if it wasn't as expensive as what they're charging right now. And I said, that's a valid point because mm -hmm. when we first started cruising, when we first started cruising, it was always carnival and there wasn't any specialty dining when we first started. And then when they started bringing in the steakhouse, they brought it in, but it was for a very reasonable fee, like 10 or $15. But now to go to a steakhouse for carnival, it's $50. That's a big difference. And it had, it's not like it's been that many years difference. It seems to have gone up a lot faster than what you would think it should. I'm going to put up Esther's comment there. She's asked, saying there's also lots of upsell for the wine. So that's something oh. I noticed on our last cruise on Hall in America, too, that there was a lot of that going on. Mm -hmm. And we saw a little bit on another cruise. I think Princess, we even saw a little bit in the, in the buffet. Definitely in Carnival we did, mm -hmm. where people were coming up to you as you're eating and trying to sell you on something, whether it's a specialty dining or oh, you know, yeah. wine packages earlier in the cruise, that type of thing. So mm -hmm. there certainly seems to be a lot of that going on. Mm -hmm. Most of them are fairly, you know, if you say no thank you, they walk off. We had someone hold America that came back multiple times. We did. Yeah. That like, have you decided yet? And we're like, oh, we don't think so. And they come back and say, you sure? And, it, and then this happened over days. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so there just definitely seems to be a bit of a push. And, and I was after we'd already been to the specialty restaurant specifically that they were trying to upsell us to. So mm -hmm. we already been there. Like, yeah. well, come, come a second come time. Come again, come again. Uh, like, you know. No, I don't think so. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's a bit of that going on for sure. Um, I'm just going down here. Uh, maybe Lynn's comment there. We'll catch it on the way by. Hello, we're on the New Amsterdam with you. Love the first two videos. Mm. And uh, yeah, it was a fun cruise for sure. And we love the Tamarind and Pinnacle Grill. We did the same ones, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're included the Have It All yeah. package. Yeah, and that's, that's, and that's, I think the gist of what a lot of people feel is if it's included, then they enjoy it. But that's, you know, mm -hmm. if you're not paying extra for it, which is, you, right. you kind of are because you pay for the Have It All, right? So there's a bit yeah, of- Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But it doesn't hurt so much on the, unless you're on the ship and you're, yeah. And, and possibly, on. you know, some people, a lot of times you're getting onboard credits now when you're getting on. So that's a possibility you can use that towards specialty dining. Exactly. So it still might not be money out of your pocket. It's you know money that you've got on board to spend. Yeah. The only problem with that is specialty dining seems to be 
uh, tougher to book for the times you want, the days you want as you get on the ship. So sometimes you want to use that onboard credit. You can't book it ahead of time. You yeah. have to wait till you get on the ship. So you're kind of scrambling to find a day that'll work for you at a time. Mm -hmm. That's the only other challenge of using it that way. Mm -hmm. Yep. I don't know where it is now, but someone had commented that the Pinnacle Grill at lunchtime is only a fifteen dollar fee, the steakhouse. Yeah, and that's so, true. And we we tried to get into that one time, and it was booked solid. But I think, like, I I'm willing. I want to try that. I think that would be a, a reasonable fee to yeah. pay to go to it. Yeah. Everyone wants to know how the New Amsterdam compares to the Norwegian Jewel. Hmm. I'm trying to remember. We on the Jewel. We on the Gem. We were on one of them. Oh, Jewel. Might have been the Jewel. <laughs> Man, <laughs> we need our little spreadsheet in front of us right now. Our very first cruise. I don't think we've been on the gem, so it had to have been the jewel. Maybe it was the jewel. Yeah, our very Are you always looking up on the spreadsheet right now <laughs> to make sure we're not talking about a ship we haven't been on. <laughs> oh, it's bad. Uh, oh, the spreadsheet is up in the background. You can't yeah, see it, but uh, we're getting there. Let me see. Cruise is taken. First ever Norwegian cruise was on the Star. Oh, Star. So, yeah, I was going to say, I don't think we've been on the Jewel. So, we haven't. That oh, was the Star. Yeah, so, but, yeah, we can't. But the really. Jewel's very similar to the Gem. I is think it? they're sister ships and very similar. We haven't been on the Gem either, though. So. Star. Jewel, I think, is sister oh, ship okay. the Star. <laughs> and they're very similar to the Dawn. They're all, that whole class is very similar. The Pearl as well. Yeah. Okay. So I think they're all very similar. So if you compare that type of cruise, say the Dawn or the Gem compared to New Amsterdam. Yeah, around the same size of ship then. Similar size. Right? Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to think what would be different in the two of them. I think main dining experience, all in America better. Yes. In the Norwegian agree. of those smaller ships. Yes. There are cabins on Holland America on the New Amsterdam are larger you than... Got, than uh, than the jewel, you get bath my opinion. You get bathtubs on the New Amsterdam in most yeah. cabins, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, specialty dining, they're probably pretty close. They both have specialty dining, and I'd say they're similar caliber. Mm -hmm. uh, the jewel, if you, if uh, production shows are a thing for you, then the jewel would win on that one. It'd they be have, better. They have main stage shows going on every night. Whereas if just music around the ship is your thing, probably Holland America better than Norwegian. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So yeah, so kind of a good question there. That, yeah. But they're both around the same size, which is similar to like the amount of people and the amount of venues that you can go to, bars and restaurants and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just trying to see what other comments we got here. Dawn is saying hello. Oh, Dawn just came back from yeah, she just got New back from Amsterdam. Her back from her cruise. Waiting at the Metro for my next connect. I played win a casino bingo and won a free cruise. Congratulations, wow. Dawn. Wow. That's great. She's going on another cruise. Another she, and Dawn already has a few booked. Wow. That's great. Good for you. Yeah. We've known a few people that have won cruises on bingo. Yeah. yeah. It sounds kind of crazy to me, but it, it's a thing. Yeah, it is a thing. <laughs> yep. It is a thing. Yeah. And people would also get free cruise offers on the gamble to the casino i've heard that a lot too yeah and if you've seen us gamble the casino they no, should no, be... we've never been offered a free cruise <laughs> but they should because like we do not win at the casino <laughs> yeah well we don't spend enough to make it worth their while either oh. and uh, just looking here michael wilson says he has three special events with a Norwegian Epic coming up June 13th through 22nd. So that's a, what, a nine-day cruise. So you get three out of nine days. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think it's different with how long it is, okay. right? Yeah, he had food at the beginning. We just missed that one. Um, Warren Wolf, kind of to the point we've been talking about a little bit, you know, especially restaurants, yes, when it's included. Mm -hmm. And we're definitely on board with yes, when it's included. Yeah. I think so. Mm -hmm. I don't think we would ever not make use of a specialty dining if we had one included for free. No. I don't yeah. think we'd say, no, we're just going to the main dining room. Yeah. Although, it, the Norwegian epic was as close as it came because I found the main dining room was that good. Yes. Mm -hmm. If I could turn back time, I probably wouldn't have done the Brazilian. I would have went to the main dining room that day. Yeah, we felt that when we were there, that we would have had a better experience had we been in the main dining room that night. I am 30 and a wake up is saying that the black, black and blue. blue French onion soup keeps me going back to the <laughs> crown grill. Nice. <laughs> and Scott's video is saying that Rudy's is the best at sea. There you go. And we, we hear that from a lot of people. So yeah. we don't have that experience yet. So maybe we'll we'll do this all over again in the future saying, must do especially restaurant if there's a Rudy's. I don't know. That'll be a true miracle <laughs> if all of a sudden I take him to a seafood restaurant and he's happy. <laughs> don't think so. And Michael Wilson saying he had one for free and paid for two more on the Epic. Well, that's mm. interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know that the uh, the free at sea has been changing over the years yeah. for what's, how many there is and everything else. Yeah. Yeah. Our very first Epic we did, or 
first Norwegian cruise we did, we had a seven days and it came with four free specialties. Yep. And then every time we come back, it goes less and less. It went down to three for a while. And then it's two. Lynn is saying, Rudy's definitely worth the price. The price of the meal would be triple the price on land. Mm. And I think Rudy's is really interesting because I think it's, it's partly presentation. It's phenomenal, the pictures I've seen. And also really high quality food, very unique dishes done in a very unique way. Right. So I think that there is some value added there if it's your type of food, for sure. You see James and Kimmy Cat's comment? I'm, I'll go to that now. See if the answer is no. <laughs> Our answer is you need to scroll a little bit so I can get the whole thing. Our answer is no, no upcharge for specialty dining, but I would pay for that little chocolate chicken you were eating. Mm -hmm. Good, good. <laughs> this is good. Oh, I might even I'm have... telling you guys, it has been a week with Mr. Canuck, knowing that Easter was coming. If there's anything he loves in this world, it is chocolate. I got a lot so... more. Mm. Maybe we'll have to e we'll, we'll, I was gonna email say, them. You're going to email them? <laughs> Squeeze this into the computer and you'll send it your way. Send but... it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it would cost to send something like that to California. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kelly and Tammy says, hello. Um, this is an interesting one from Scott's video saying that celebrity has big prices for their specialty dining. So we haven't done celebrities. So we're not sure how that looks as far as value, price, what options are available. So, yeah. Do you see that one up there? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I was trying to figure where you were. Yeah. So big, big prices for their specialty dining. Mm -hmm. mm, so that's like not good. Stacy has a question Unless here. Unless they have I don't, food. I saw another corner of my eye. I'm not sure here. Uh, on the Epic Specialty Restaurants, can you use the drink package you have to pay? So drink packages included yes. yeah so your drink package so of course with your drink package there's a a dollar amount that is good till i think 17 dollars a drink is what it mm. was on or 16 mm. it was high up 15 there. i think 15 okay so i think crown royal was 16 uh, okay yep. um anyways and so yes you can use your drink package there they'll tell you which wines or if you whatever most of their cocktails is covered there are some that isn't covered that you would have to pay the difference for if you wanted something that wasn't covered but our experience when we went to say for instance on the epic went to the uh the french restaurant i had ordered a prosecco and the lady brought a bottle and left it behind me and kept topping up my glass so i really have no idea how many glasses i had through that dinner but she just it was in my drink package and i didn't have a bill for it whatsoever yeah and norwegian was really good that way we had the drink package with them and we would order a glass of wine you know glasses of wine are included not bottles of wine even yeah. in the main dining room and we would see them come out with a whole bottle. And we'd be kind of thinking, oh, are we going to get charged for a bottle? They put the bottle in like an ice bucket. Behind and they, us. And they just keep on using that to top up our glass of wine. And we we were never charged for anything other than just a glass of wine on our drink package. So, yeah. So yeah. that was that was like top level service from Norwegian. That really impressed us. That, it really did. That they didn't have to go back somewhere and find another glass of wine that came out 10 minutes later. They just walked by the table. You need another, you know, top up. Yeah. If yeah. your glass was low, they topped it up. Like it, you didn't, I don't even know how many glasses I had because it never got empty. Yeah. 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 So Which I be, just know they topped it up three times. So I probably be, had three or almost three. That could be dangerous. It could be. Exactly. <laughs> Chris has an interesting comment. And this is kind of the other side of the coin, right? When we cruise, we pay for experiences. So yeah, it's true. You're trying, this is an opportunity to do something you normally don't do. Especially dining is one of those experiences that he feels totally worth it. So mm -hmm. and same with excursions, you know, are they worth the extra money? And that's, we always have that debate as well, as you know, that we do a lot of on our own stuff because we don't want to pay extra for it. And yeah, so that's, it's really, you know, it, it reminds me of the conversation someone had with us on YouTube once saying that they only cruise once every two years and they book a Neptune suite because we had said that we, we book inside cabins and go more and more cruises. They were willing to sacrifice doing less cruises for a better experience. Yeah. And for us, that's kind of how it would be if we did all the extra excursions and experiences in the dining rooms. And we might not be able to afford, say, one less cruise or something over the course of a year if we That's did that. True. So yeah, so it's where your priorities are, yeah, right? So, where yeah, you want to exactly have and, your experience. And, and I have family like that too. That you know, you know, we're going out, we're having a good time. I don't care what it costs. We're yeah. here to have a good time, right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. where sometimes we're we're counting our pennies because we're trying to save for the next cruise <laughs> because we want to be doing it all the time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, Edward is asking how the food is on or was in the New Amsterdam. Very good. I was very happy with the food on New Amsterdam. I found the main dining room had really good food. So that that's why I was having the question when someone asked me, the specialty dining you did, was it worth it? Well, it was good. But every time I went to the main dining room, it was really good too. So I don't know if it was worth it was mm -hmm. what I come back to, right? Yeah. 
And uh, whether it's worth it or not, Jimmy says that uh, he's commenting here on Rudy Seldomar. He's saying that it's $49 a person. I think that rings a bell. Yeah. As being, oh, and yeah. he says it's best by far. Best by far. And yeah. then in, in, in that train of thought, we've got Kylie here who is saying that she's booking Rudy's on her med cruise for 12 days because she loves seafood. Yes. Yeah, see, and, and I do too, so I do really want to try that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then uh, in, Jimmy's uh, adding in that Pinnacle will be his second choice. Okay. And uh, this would be on uh, All in America. Uh, yep. And <laughs> James and Kimmy Cat are... Food chocolate with Crown Royal is my favorite. <laughs> exactly, yeah. and that was my day today. <laughs> and throw in the Masters Golf Tournament. So you like, had a pretty good day, didn't you? It was like one of those dream days today, yes. Uh -huh. Yep, it was It was really close to as good as it is getting on a ship for embarkation day. Oh, really? It, wow. was, it was a good day. Well, good. <laughs> Oh, and we covered Southwest Florida Bulldog, do we not? Yes, we yeah. did. Um, yeah. and we just, need to skip, scroll down through some because these were some we did. Um, I see a comment there from Martha saying hubby's watching the Masters from the UK. <laughs> Stayed up late for her there, that's for uh, sure. That's for sure. And uh, definitely do it again. I think Sherry is talking about Tamarind and Pinnacle. Did we cover that one? Yeah. I that she so. would do it again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've gone yeah. that one. We're getting caught up again. It. Oh, I see a comment about Ireland. I have Irish heritage, so I'm going to click on that one for sure. <laughs> and uh, good evening, guys, from a very stormy Ireland. I love Whoa. a good storm. <laughs> yeah, I should have did. I should have did some video outside the window today. Mm. Um, that you know, we we had some pictures from uh, Paul and Carol from Paul mm. and Carol the travel. How beautiful the garden looks over in England. Their gardens are gorgeous <laughs> right now. Yeah, and they sent us a kind of showing how how nice it was there. And Happy so we, Easter. We sent a picture of all the snow on our back deck because it's three feet deep still here. So, yeah, they couldn't believe it. <laughs> what did Carol say? That's mad. I think yeah, she said. She said, "Oh my God, that's mad." So. Oh. oh, Kelly and Tammy's journey saying chicken nuggets is better than lobster. There, those are your people. I just threw their comment up there. <laughs> yes, for sure. I agree. Oh. All I need to do is say, "So is meatloaf," and we're good friends for sure. Uh -huh. Um. I'm just catching up here. Yeah. Ron, like the Brazilian, I see. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to match it up here and see where yeah. we were, where we left off before. And Dave is saying hi from UK. It's very late there. It's after mm -hmm. midnight there. For sure. And Don is saying black tea on New Amsterdam. I'm just trying to get down to oh, past yeah. the Club Orange stuff here. Um, we're getting there, folks. Mm -hmm. Ditto on Tamarind, best service and ship above yeah. bar. It, what room is the best room service? We're getting close because we've read these. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Southwest Florida Bulldog says, let me match it up there. I would have to say Princess has the best room service. I like it so much. I ended up marrying my room service attendant, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very nice. Yeah, it's true. I forgot about that. So in our experience being on Princess, we have yet to order anything to our room with the exception of like maybe breakfast in the morning if we're running out but we haven't like sort of had um a meal in our room is no. what i'm trying to say like no. a late night dinner or a sandwich or anything um yeah mm -hmm. you, we have had drinks delivered to the room though a few yep. times which mm -hmm. is really nice with like some potato chips <laughs> so yep. it is nice yeah kelly is saying that she loves club orange on the conning dam quiet excellent service yummy food and they're doing it again for alaska okay okay yes. good to know and we have, yep. yeah steak and eggs were amazing is that on room service yeah on club orange expanded room service oh menu. so that's something i didn't know i learned something tonight so then that club go. orange you can do extra room service wow okay uh. yeah that would be good Scott is saying that Princess Rocks with the medallion. I think that's a reference to that you can order the food anywhere on right. the ship. Hmm. Yeah. And uh, oh. we'll, so we'll say hi to Rex. We haven't Rex. seen Rex before. On. Hi, Rex. Welcome. Paul Thanks for your, joining us. From Paul and Carol. Nice to meet you. Cunard, fan, Cunard fans. Uh -huh. Yeah. And, and, and Rex. Wow. Yeah. We're, we keep looking for some options. We're madly looking for Europe in the fall this year. We've got nothing booked, lots of plans, but no idea what's happening. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's been the, the the topic of conversation as we commute to work every day is what we're doing in Europe. So, yeah. And I see a comment here that'll be near and dear to the heart of some people that like seafood and steak and all that stuff. Scott's videos. I think the only premium line that still serves lobster in the MDR without an extra charge is Princess, at least for now. I think you're right, Scott. That's our experience too. Carnival did. Did they know it? I I could have swore Carnival had lobster. 
Did I have it at Christmas? Uh, I don't know. We'd have to go back and watch our own vlogs to find out. Oh, I don't think I don't think they had lobster. I'm pretty sure I had surf and turf, with which was um, shrimp and steak. It wasn't lobster. Huh? Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. I'm just catching up still. I'll throw mm -hmm. Peter's on because Peter hasn't been around for a couple of weeks oh, from the UK. Peter. We got a few people from across the, the Atlantic. Oh. Yep. And Stacy is making a comment, a suggestion. I'd love to see a live where we talk about excursions, how we decide where to book cruise line or an independent company, or do you wander on your own? So yeah, we do a lot of wandering, that's for sure. But I think there's a reason why we do it, and there's reasons why we book excursions. So I think that's a good topic of conversation. It is. Maybe that should be our focus for tomorrow night, or I mean next week. Tomorrow night. <laughs> no, not tomorrow night. Next week's topic. We have sort of talked about that. So we we do a mix of both Stacy is what I'll say quickly um, if where we want to go is far from where the port is we'll often book through the cruise so for instance when we were uh, going into Paris this summer we actually docked in La Haye was that how you say it and it's almost a three hour bus ride away yeah. from Paris so we booked through the cruise and let them handle all of those logistics for us yeah. um, but if it's something that we can get to easily on our own or a short taxi ride and also, that also depends on what country you're into, because some are safer than others, but we often do our own. So we did, you know, even when we were going into Amsterdam, we Uber ride it and booked um, to go do a tour of Anne Frank's house. And so we had booked the tour for Anne Frank's house months ahead prior to the going to Europe. What? No, long answer for just quickly. I'll Sorry, you. but I'm just trying to say we do a mixture of both. But, yeah, we'll yeah. do a whole thing on that instead of you talking to talk for 10 minutes for it because we're okay. running out of time. Okay, I know. I was trying to go fast. <laughs> Didn't you hear me talking fast? Sorry, guys. Yeah, so I just was scrolling through the questions here. And uh, yeah, I'm just reading your comments on the MDR, you know, different comments about meal packages or drink packages where you pay the extra. I see someone commented there. Uh, I see Peter was asking what happened to the parasailing. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about that a couple of lives ago, I guess when Peter wasn't here, mm -hmm. but basically we were at the parasailing place. We had planned to do an excursion. Holland America said, no way, Mr. Canuck, we cannot have you get injured and you cannot do this. <laughs> we were we were on a short booked excursion through through um, the cruise line, and they had a regulation that we weren't allowed to stay on the beach on our own. That the, the people that brought us there on the catamaran, we had to stay with them and come back with them, which was not what we were told when we booked it or what we had read, not yeah. told what yeah, we had we, read. The plan was to parasail in the middle of the excursion and go back to the boat, but they wouldn't On our it. own, but we weren't allowed to. So mm -hmm. no, it didn't happen. Yeah. So we're going to get it done. Trust me. <laughs> I'm at the point now I have to pretty well prove that we can do this because uh, it seems like we're never going to get it. Yeah. Oh, somebody says they love the puppy. Yeah. Bruno made an experience, uh, an appearance. He slept for the most part of the live. And then all of a sudden I heard the little baby growl barks that he was going to get louder if I didn't pick him up. <laughs> Thanks. Just quick comment there. I see at the bottom that uh, RRB Kitty says Carnival still has lobster second elegant night. Oh, okay. So, so yeah, so that's, and that kind of uh, surprises some people because some of the other lines aren't doing that, even though some of the premium ones, some of the premium ones are charging a surcharge for lobster yeah. in the specialty dining. Yes, a lot of them are. Yeah, so yeah. I won't give that away, but that might be coming up one of our vlogs, I think. So, <laughs> but yeah, we're well past our time now, so you oh. might call it there. Oh, okay. And we'll let everybody get back to their Easter chocolate. Oh, me gosh. included. So he's almost oh. gone. I still have some of them left. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be back next Sunday again with a live. We've got a, hopefully a couple more videos I'm still working on here. Mm -hmm. We're going to be a day at sea and then we're going to be at Curacao. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that'll be coming out probably Tuesday night or Wednesday and then early next weekend. And then we'll be back again here on Sunday night. Mm -hmm. And that's it for tonight, everybody. But thanks for what a wonderful conversation. This went so fast because everybody was asking so many questions and yeah. so much good information. I hope you all got something out of it because even I learned something tonight for sure. Yeah, well, and that's why we love doing these lives. I'm telling you, you know, we by far are not experts and we get so much information from all of the other fellow cruisers. We love it. So yep. thanks, guys. Yep. Thanks for watching. Yep, thanks for watching. And we'll sign off there. And have a good week, everybody. We'll talk to you again next weekend. And uh, again, happy Easter. Thank you.